my speech today is about uh, what is uh, evolving every time in Buka Times. So the word is change, okay? So the thing is that um, I'm to focus uh, the session today on change, but from project management perspective. So change uh, from a project management um, perspective should be understood as a work stream that focus on people in order to, to know which is uh, the impact or the dimension of the change. And once you know, it, you know it, try to avoid the possible resistance that you will find during the project when you are implementing the change in a company. Okay? Um, I'll start my presentation, but feel free to pose any question at the moment you find convenient or whenever you, you want, okay? Great, so let's start first with change. Change, the famous word that we have said, or probably you have heard today a lot of time, because as you know, we are living in, in, in a VUCA world, and VUCA means change. What is change? Change is change when it's an element, like here, a, a, a water, could be understood, or a nature, so it could be a hurricane, wind, or just a move, so this is a change, that's all. This is a, this is a movement, why? Because there is uh, no people in behind, so in this case, change is simply a movement, okay? Great, and I would like to refer also a sentence that Heraclitus, you know, the philosopher was saying, is that change is the only constant. Okay, but what happens when change uh, is or has anyhow any individual involved? Then it's not uh, change, it's not a movement anymore. Then change is turning into an emotion and a feeling. Why? Because when there is an individual involved or impacted by a change, then what happens? You have a different sensation, emotion, so it's not a simple movement. Um, as Joan was saying at the very beginning and in the opening um, session, um, he was saying that uh, people, or we un everyone understands different, or probably you understand A, I understand B, and then we are receiving the same message. But that's what is making humankind extraordinary, okay? We are different, and that's great, okay? But then, could be if you are working in an organization a bit complex when you have to manage change. Why? Because then change, when it's in an organization, is not so easy as an individual change. Why? Because in an organization, we work, I don't know how many people are working together, or you know, we have. How, how many of you are working in a large or multinational companies? You? How great you said? Just you, right? And about middle companies? No, that's great. And about the rest? Just, I don't know, if you want to share, obviously, if you want to share with us, uh, more or less, how many people are you working with? Or the, the, the people, or employees, okay, that we're saying employees from finance and project management point of view, how many employees does your company have? Sure. Pardon? 35. 35? Two. Two, great. 900. 900. Are you saying the catering company, right? Great, 900. More? Pardon? One, okay, so imagine, imagine, could be, is a bit complex to manage any change once a lot of people is involved. Why? Because we all have different interests, we are all different, that's the thing. And another sentence I like to share that Erika has said also in the session is that nature doesn't need change program. No, individual, probably we or I or we, because we are a community, but as individual, uh, probably uh, I do not need any change program. Why? Because if you face with a situation that you don't like, it's a change, you manage yourself, okay, in order to solve it. But organization needs change program, change projects in order to manage. And also 
to focus on results. So that's the reason why we're saying that a change in an organization should be understood as a structure process, following a methodology aligned with the project management methodology, okay? So, and then probably you, you could have said, but what are you saying? So yes, organizational change requires a structured process and management, okay? So for instance, how many of you, or just raise your hand, the ones that are currently involved in any project? When I say project asset, for instance, working with an implementation of new, a new software on logistics, or probably if, I don't know, in a catering, can I use a catering example? If a catering company is changing right now the, the, the trucks, you know, or the way of delivery, or probably as we are working in a company full of millennials, we change the, you know, the big desk and then we are to work in an open space, okay? So how many of you right now are involved in this, in projects that probably impacts or brings change? Mm, great, okay? Why? Why were I saying that a project, this is from my experience and perspective, a project, at least in my experience, always brings some, always brings some change. Because if, if there is a project, it is to change, to move, okay? So, we are all involved in projects anyhow. And this is the way normally a project is, is managed. We, we always think first about the object, if you know milestones, action plan, we have resources, etc. So that's what we call the hard side, technical side, and it works. Why? Because we, we know which is the current state, and we know which is to be our objective, the future state. We know that in between, it is to be the transition, but we will manage, okay? Right. And probably we will de design a solution, we will develop and then we will deliver the solution. Are you doing right now? Are you following more or less this, this site, this work stream? Uh, are you just, or are you adding any other work stream when you are dealing a project? Is something missing here from your perspective in order to succeed or to have success? Communication. Communication? Yeah. Great, great. But what does um, people's side include? Communication? What else? Emotions. Motions, yes. What else? Support Great, like a coaching sometimes could be understood, yeah? What else? Evaluation. Relationships, especially here, or could be leadership, the relationship with management also, or also with the all the mates. So this is the soft people, the soft side that will be the people side of change. That's the one I was referring when I was saying that a, cha a change in an organization is understood as a process or as a work stream. That's the work stream I was referring to. So obviously, if we manage a project with the hard, si hard side or technical side, perhaps it's to be okay. <coughs> but if we add the people side of change, that is the soft that includes awareness, includes training, includes uh, strategy, yes, includes sustainability as well. So the, the, the success, it is to be multiplied. We do not, apart from designing, developing, and delivering, what we are doing is we are embracing the change. We are making the people, um, uh, you know, adopt the change and use. And then, as it said, our, our future, we do not see the future as a world, yes, because we are a community, we know, but in terms of people's side of change, we are trying to consider every individual or every department into account. For this reason, right now, you see that the future is like, you know, with, with, um, with, this, uh, with this form, no, it's not global. We distinguish every department, we distinguish every people, okay? And, um, there is um, an entity worldwide now that is ProSide that is uh, focused on uh, the main activities change management. And it said that once we are working in a project or developing a project and we use this soft uh, people side of change, or this work stream, it's 60 times more likely 
to achieve the project uh, objective. Moreover, it's five times more likely to stay uh, ahead or on the schedule, because as you know, if you're working on a project, <laughs> timeline is also, you know, like, it's like falling all the time. So it's important. And then it said that it's two times more likely to stay or go ahead the budget, okay? So, and why? Why? Because as you know, that individuals make change happen. But change happen, just individual change. So it's like a kind of paradox that it should be managed from the very beginning, okay? So individuals are key to maximize success of the change in a project. So for this reason, we are using this people work stream on project management. Right? So far, so good? So, oh. okay, great. So um, I'll show you very quickly uh, the methodology that we are using, okay? Um, so this could be the technical side, as, co as commented before, so based on PMBOK, I don't know if you're using this PMBOK technique or whatever, so as you know, a project would have different phases, so we have here the, um, you know, the first plan, the initiating, planning, executing, etc. okay? But the side, the, the second stream, the people's side of change will be divided also in these three main phases. In the first one, we track journey. When we say track journey, first we work together with project management or the technical side in order to know which is the strategy, which are the change, which are, the bit, which are to be the departments that will be affected, and then start working together on the strategy to follow in order to make sure that all people or employees, as they are, because we are talking the same language, okay, we are aware and they are aware about the changes, okay? On the second phase, we mobilize and execute, okay? We are working in parallel. And then finally, we also measure and optimize the change because we have to give a measure, we have to have metrics. We have to measure if the, 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 success, the success of the change, okay? The thing is that uh, in order to manage this change or to work on this people side of change, work stream, we use these pillars in order to make sure that the, the, the change is implemented. I just mentioned this, these pillars, but during the sessions you have been uh, heard about, so one could be awareness, this is the first thing. So awareness of a change is key to start a project. Engagement, empowerment, environment, which is a strategy to follow, is the people readiness to follow? No, so readiness is important. Sustainability, will be this change sustainable? Is it necessary? Why not, etc. The, le the leadership, how will be the structure, the governance, etc. Communication, that's what you were mentioning before, which will be the communication to use, when, how, etc. And also training, obviously if you are implementing a new project, for instance, or commenting a software, some training must be given to, to the employees, to people, who is to, because uh, they are to use it. Okay. And another thing is, in order to give it more proper, um, we also try to um, get close to the people and trying to to put in in our our place or our their situation and try to use stories. Uh, where we can, uh, we share the same objective, make, make them see that we are sharing the same objective in order to resonate and gain synergy. That's appreciative collaboration and we are working together with, uh, with, uh, with Joanne in that, okay, so, yes? Sorry, sorry, I don't understand now track journey. What's, yeah. Track journey is at the very beginning when we start, because uh, you, will, you will see better in the next slide, is um, we are working together with project management technical side. So track journey will be, okay, uh, what is to happen? Right, we have an, an, a diagnosis of the change, okay? And then as we have been working with project management, we, 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 we have the same sponsorship, and then we know what is to happen. And then we draw, in this case, we prepare, we track the journey of the change, okay? Because we know, for instance, if we take a SAP implementation, okay? You, we know that it's to be one year, great. But we have to track, in terms of change, 
when is to be implemented all together, which department, when, which are the departments that will be affected, will they need training? No. Do they need any, any leader, a specific coach? So whatever, which is to be the strategy? So we are tracking the journey, journey of change, okay? Then we implement and then we measure and optimize. Have I answered your question? Yes? Any other question? Great. So uh, I'm millennial, yeah, so graphics and timelines and cost that's the thing that we are working on finance department and a project department side, so great. But I won't extend myself a lot, but just hello. As you can see, we are working, yes, we are working together with project management. So we established at the very beginning the government's uh, structure. Okay, government means when we are to meet each other, uh, when is the implementation. As you know, at the end of every phase, there are also toll gates in order to make sure that we are aligned with the project. Because project, this project, imagine it's a sub-implementation, it means a change and impact on people. So we must work aligned, okay? So as you can see, we work aligned with them. We also have toll gates and we also measure. And what we are doing in this uh, work stream, or which are the del deliverables or tools? For instance, uh, you probably will know, first we have our stakeholders roadmap. We must know from the very beginning which are the actors, the players of the change, and the, the dimension and also the degree of, of the impact, okay? Then the maturity assessment, assessment of the company. If it's a big company and probably they are running five pro projects at the same time, the maturity probably, it, they won't suffer a lot, the employees, but if it's the first time that they are suffering a big change, we should take into account. Then also gap analysis, which is the as is situation versus the to be, okay? What else? We also work on a business case, as in the project management, because we are also um, develop a project. It's a project that manage people, but we also work on a business case. Obviously, an action log, announcement of the change, and then also we work together with, <coughs> with them about training plan, communication, and readiness plan. Okay? So far, so good questions. No, and obviously KPIs report, optimization plan, and then it's always there are, we are facilitating lean tools in order to guide people to adapt and embrace the change, okay? I do not know if I don't have a lot of, I do not have a lot of time. Um, three? Right. Okay, let me explain very quickly a business case. This is very quickly, it's an example, okay? Because uh, in order to measure the change, one of the three parameters we are using, one is the speed of adoption. That is, it means um, um, how, uh, I mean, when the user start using, in this case, SAP, okay, so, sorry, um, ultimate, uh, ul traditionally, how many people, how many employees are using this new software, or the change, and also proficiency means uh, how proficient or which level are they using, okay? So in this case, this is the company, uh, PGRJ, and Peter and Rachel were two employees, because um, PRG implemented SAP last year, okay? And uh, the thing was that if they adopt change, uh, they will save uh, this amount, so $5,000 um, per month, the investment was just 2,000, just, it was just a model of SAP, okay, for, for <laughs> logistics, great. So $2,000, um, um, and then and they managed that in two months' time, Peter and Rachel will adopt that change, okay, because it was just like an upgrade of the SAP. What happens? So that's the cost, expect benefit, and ROI, okay? I'm very quickly, but... Uh, a scenario one, what happens? They do not start in two months' time. They, uh, the, the adoption time was six months, okay? So then imagine. Gloria, may, may I ask or clarify mm -hmm. something? You said very fast that what you mean change here was the, uh, the implementation of uh, functionality in SAP for logistics? Yes, yes, yes. So yes. when you say a technical change, technical that change? is, they were doing this. 
Yes, they, a technical change is if they are working on a SAP, they have SAP implemented, that, but they implemented an agreed functionality in logistics. So they thought that in two months' time, people and Rachel will be professional with this new functionality. Okay? But what happened in one scenario is that they do not need two months. They need six months. Okay? So the speed of adoption was not as expected. The other scenario was that Peter so oh no, I start, I'll keep on my sub, the other functionality, okay? And just Rachel accept and adopt and embrace and use the change, okay? And what about the, thir the third scenario? Okay, both of them use the, the new functionality. Great, two months, Oop. but they do not uh, use all the functionalities, okay? So they do not use the, the, the tool in all their new facility, um, functionalities. What happened at the end? At the end happened that the business case was a ROI of 150, but in a scenario one was ju just, they start six months later, the ROI was you know, reduced. Here is when Peter decide to opt out and in this scenario is where both of them do not use the maximum of this new functionality. So as you can see from the ROID, at the end, they use, you know, it was not very good. Here, in terms of change management, the question is, what could we done in order to make sure that Peter and Rachel start on the set just with two months? Probably, I don't know, more training, probably coaching, probably the strategy was not right, probably need more communication, et cetera, et cetera. So we could start you know, remembering the pillars that mentioned before in order to manage. Or probably they were not aligned with project management, et cetera. So that's the that's conclusion that uh, I want to say that any change must be measured, especially if we are working in such a finance world that uh, all the time are requiring or requesting KPIs, metrics, etc. Okay, so um, that was just a conclusion. I highly recommend to run the risk and probably uh, start thinking that change is not so bad as it seems. Okay, so sometimes it's a question of managing people. It's complex, but it's uh, it's okay at the end and just start to change uh, instead of uh, buka. Buka should be or turn to be as much as possible, as uh, Jamie Smart says, vision, understanding, clarity, and agility. Okay. So thank you very much. Um, if you have any questions, I know you're excited. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you.